My friend, my friend, Unchained Melody. Now this one's gonna have a really cool beat. Instead of explaining it through the eyes of just a cut time, we're gonna break down the rhythm pattern so you can play it at home. If you have an ukulele, uh, tops. If you have a stringed instrument, tops. If it's something you would just wanna sing along with, great. And if you're just here to watch, then tops as well. I hope you thumbs up, subscribe, send it to your best friend. Enjoy music, here we go. Now, this was written by Alex North. If I have to remember correctly, I think it was performed by the Everly, not the Everly Brothers. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Put it in the comment section if you remember. Anywho, it's going to start off with the first chord. It's going to be a G major, and then it's going to go to an E minor, to a C major, to a D7. Now, these chords are kind of poppity jumping all around, but they repeat over and over in some places. So what I want to do is show you how in the key of C major and in G major, we can move these chords around. The only difference between C major and G major are the tonality of the triads, which means C, D, E, F, G, A, B diminished C turns into G, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, then F sharp diminished, sorry, and then back to G. So the concept here is we're gonna play our G uh, to an E minor. So instead of moving your fingers all around, just put your pinky down on the E note. It turns it into a G6, which is also your E minor shape in a secondary fingering. So when we do the next chord, after we already have this fingering laid out, you can see how just moving your finger to right here for your C is super quick. And then your two alternate fingers here are ready to play your D7. Or just one if you want to bar it. Either way, it's already there already. So I like to do an up and down Aussie Nido kind of feeling. So the night goes by. My darling. G major. touch. Here's our E minor. Pinky. Here comes a D major. Only time. Move the middle note. Nice. G. And I need your D. I need your E minor. Love. Here comes a B minor 7. You're going to bar the whole second fret. Godspeed. A minor. Since we've gone through the whole beginning first verse, we're going to be doing this one a little bit later, but we're going to go into the verses, which gives us a C major. Lonely rivers, D major, to the C major, to B flat major. Break it down to C, Gamacho. Back to D, to a G major, to C. First time we do that, great. We go right back into the G. Oh. our D7. D7. Yeah. Go to the G. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can play the E minor without the pinky just as long as you know that an option is available. Nice. To the D. D7. Here comes our G. As time. So C major, here comes our really cool D7. I can do G major so much. E minor, you still. Big note, B minor 7, barred up. You're mine, D7. High notes, uh, I think it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Break it down with dynamics. Honey. B minor 7 again. Your love. A minor. Speed your love. D7. To G. Now 
now there is a secondary verse. I'm not going to bore bore you with it. Make it your own. It has that lovely river flow. Now, since we're doing the ta ka ta ka ta 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 and trying to do the bouncing one and a two we want and a two we want and a two we want, we can also do just downstrokes to break the monotony. B flat major. When we do that C again, yada yada yada. Make sure we play the D and take the second ending to me. We're not done yet. Do that whole thing, big thing. Whoa, ah, get all the way through until you get through your big finale, and it's gonna end right before the verse starts again. So you're gonna end where it says fine or fine, fin, foin. F-I-N-E. Either way, when you get there, stop. That's the end of the song. Hope you had a great time today. I sure as heck did. See you next time.